what up youtube it's your boy two time moto tv and we back with another video guys today we are going to go and try to get an official alignment for the crown vic on 28s as you guys know a couple of videos ago i did an alignment myself and it uh it actually turned out pretty good to be honest but um i do want an official alignment so i can make sure that i'm not wearing these tires out uh that's money that i can actually spend on something else instead of spending money on uh tires because these tires are pretty expensive and i would hate to just keep going through tires and stuff so yeah uh my drive is about 30 minutes away which is not that bad so uh, yeah just thought i'd let you guys know what we got going on um uh, while the camera's running and we're gonna make this drive down there as i told you guys before that's one main reason why I don't drive the car like this because I don't have an official alignment. I don't want to keep wearing the tires out. If the same problem that I had occur many and many of times, you know, before in the past, this is like my maybe third or fourth set of tires and I'm just tired of replacing them. So, uh, yeah, so we're going to go get an official alignment. Hey. With me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the five stick, you can get high with me, that's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the five stick, you can get high with me, that's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? Ay, coming down like precipitation. I ain't never met a limitation. Hate applying my elimination. Gotta go to Google for the information. I'm a superstar, so I gotta shine. Top dollar be the bottom line. Bottom feeding niggas out of line. Turn your heart rate to a dotted line. Yeah, my zodiac probably dollar sign. Got that. What it do, gang? We back. We here at Auto Springs Company. Springs for cars, trucks, buses, automotive machine shops, suspension parts, frame straightening, wheel aligning, and balancing, shock observers, brake service. All right. Smell a little cooling too. Hopefully, I ain't got no cooling. But yeah, we here. Let's see what they talking about. They say that they might can do it, so it's not a guarantee. But. It ain't gonna hurt to try, y'all. I won't do nothing else today anyway, so. We're gonna try to get this done so I can definitely bring y'all guys more content, more driving content, more pulling up the places with the Vic. And yeah, we're gonna roll from there. All right, y'all, so he's pulling away. And I bet he's gonna scrub. I didn't even tell him that you can't turn all the way, but uh, maybe I should. Uh, Hey, sorry to bother you again. Uh, it's gonna scrub a little bit. Oh, I know. I can rub the window down there. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Sometimes people just have the cars tinted. Nah, man. Nah, you good. <clears throat> but yeah, y'all. Um, he was wondering if I had the upper control arm and everything forward, and yes, I do. So he's gonna, he's gonna mess around with everything. Yo, these guys do big 18 wheelers and stuff like that, so I shouldn't have no issue. They do everything truck. Yeah, man, I'm uh, pretty excited about this. Like I said, it's been a long time coming. I did align it as best as I could for the time being. And like I said, uh, it's working out pretty well. Still got a little little tweaking in the steering wheel and stuff uh, when, I, when I drive 60 plus miles per hour. So get that situated and man i'll be able to bring you guys a lot more content man me going long distance with the car maybe out of town maybe out of state you never know so yeah man y'all stay tuned for that all right two time gang this is what we got um possibly have bad ball joints uh on my upper control arm um as you guys can see the car is sitting here he's getting me he's getting me right uh 
we basically both agree on the same thing of what's going on. I have a little bit too much play in these joints here. Way too much play. So when you put the jacks up underneath the uh, the uh, rear control, I mean the uh, lower control arms and had the wheels lifted up off the ground, we just tugged on the wheel a little bit and uh, the wheel was going all over the place. But he is getting me in a line uh, at least they drive straight. <laughs> yeah, like at least the car drives straight now. Yeah, but uh, I'm gonna get two brand new ball joints. I'm gonna call uh, Lift the Brand tomorrow and uh, see if they send me two brand new ball joints. See if they had any kind of complaints in the near past um, about guys' ball joints going bad on uh, these kind of lift kits. And then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna get the camera straightened. So he's gonna he's gonna uh, adjust these upper control arms here, and then uh, we should be straight and ready to go. I should be able to get on down the get on down the road pretty well. But yeah, good group of guys, man. It's closing time and they get me on in here and trying to get me straightened out. So he's doing everything old school with the rims on the car and. Uh, we didn't have to take the wheels off, so I can just hold on to those two factory wheels and possibly get two more so I can put some off-road uh, winter wheels on it and fill up some of that fender wall gap with a nice size tire and get on down the road with that. But this is what we got so far. Like I said, I got to get two ball joints. I'm going to have to see if they got some different ones because it's the same on both sides of the problem and the issue I got going on. So I'm gonna get two new ones and uh, we will be going from there, but I'll let you guys see the finished product, let you guys know what I think as soon as everything gets done. And I appreciate y'all rocking with me. All right, y'all, so we just took it for a test drive. Uh, the steering wheel straight, it's driving straight, but there's a little jolting in this wheel right here. So we're gonna swap this wheel with the rear wheel back here and we're gonna see if this weight is out of balance I mean if this wheel is out of balance or if a weight got slung off or whatever the case is at the moment but so far so good y'all we are definitely making progress I'm gonna definitely still have to get uh, two new ball joints because that's just not gonna work with what uh, setup we're running with right now and then uh, once I get the two new ball joints I'm gonna bring it back here and um, He's going to get my camber situated for me and press the two new ball joints in and yeah guys we should be riding fairly good but uh I'll be right back with y'all after we get these wheels taken off and swapped around. Yes sir. Alright guys so this is what we're working with right here with this ball joint as you guys can see. Try to shake it one more time. As y'all can see how the wheel is wobbling. It is coming from that ball joint and you guys can see the movement of the joint right there. And that is the problem that we have. He is definitely getting me right though guys. Uh, we're going to have to figure some things out to get this problem situated. But he's working with me. He don't mind being on camera. He don't mind me showing you guys what problems is persistent right now. But when I was riding in the passenger side, I could feel this tire right here wobbling. So like I said, we're gonna swap these two these two wheels out and see if it's just this wheel. Maybe there's a a weight that got slung off or something like that maybe it's just in the wheel but we about to find out guys i'll let y'all know all right y'all so now i'm back at the house learned a few things today about the crown vic one it has not been safe for me to drive that car the way those ball joints are those ball joints i'm guessing are not made for the car yes they slid in the slot but they still have play in them i didn't know that uh when installing it uh made sure everything was tightened down and uh, for it being uh, tightened down was not the issue. It's just those ball joints 
are not made for my Crown Vic or uh, not made to fit inside that spindle. Either it has too much gap or it's just down too far. And uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna order a brand new set of uh, upper control arm ball joints that are actually made for the car and that will go in that upper control arm. So uh, I'm gonna call Lift the brand tomorrow, see if they made a mistake when they sent me that upper control arm. Uh, see if they had any problems in the past with that, but uh, riding down the road, you know The car does go in a straight line, but I can feel the wheels wobbling and trying to still do what they want to do And I've had that problem like I said ever since I put the lift on the car and I was trying to figure out what the problem was So me and the guy actually diagnosed the problem that y'all seen and we figured out that the play is in that upper control arm So he did align me uh to go straight and my steering wheel is straight now but other than that uh still gotta fix that upper ball joint and also i'm gonna take out one of those spacers so my wheels won't be that far poked out like how they are now i'm gonna take out one of those spacers and he's gonna shave down my um my studs that my lugs go on so that those wheels will fit perfectly on the car uh yes i'm gonna still probably sell those wheels eventually and go 30s but that's for where we sit at the moment. So, like I said, one, it was very dangerous for me to drive a car like that. He said that uh, one good pothole and one good bump would have ripped that upper control arm out of that spindle and would have made my wheel come out. So just imagine going down the road 50 or 60 miles per hour and your wheel falling out. I mean, that can be very detrimental. The car can probably dig into the ground, flip, do other crazy stuff, can send me into a guard with rail, can send me into somebody else and possibly get somebody else hurt or damaged property. So I'm glad that we are narrowing down the problem of what's going on with the Crown Vic and that we can get that situated. So I plan on making some phone calls tomorrow. I'm gonna give you guys an update on that and everything that's going on with that. Um, so yeah, so hopefully we can get this problem narrowed down, which we already did, and get it fixed. And then uh, you guys will definitely have a lot more driving footage, a lot of uh, footage of me showing up to different places with the car, the re uh, the reactions I get and everything um, when that gets fixed. So like I said, guys, stay tuned. Uh, I'm very thankful for those who's been rocking with me thus far. Like I said, we almost had a thousand subscribers, so we'll be looking forward to the giveaways as soon as we hit a thousand. And then uh, I will announce the winner. I will uh, uh, probably try to email them or uh, send them a text or something to get a phone number so I can talk to them uh, live or whatever. And then I video record the whole reaction and everything. So uh, yeah, y'all stay tuned for more. Stay tuned for the update. Two Time Moto TV out. And I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Peace.